Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm joined, as always, by my past squad of Laguna and Kiros. When we last left off, I got a little bit of cold feet uh, trying to fight a ruby dragon, especially since Kiros wasn't equipped. He is now equipped. We'll go over with what later. Just know that I kind of spread out the guardian forces equally it doesn't really matter we won't be keeping this set up for long let's head over to the right though because we have ourselves a ruby dragon to fight and like i said i want to manipulate the hell out of this fight which means that i'll probably be here for a while luckily it'll be off screen now the most of it. but we are up against that ruby dragon that we saw before Pretty easy enemy, to be honest with you, uh, but we want to do some things with it that are not so easy. Uh, first, uh, you can see that he's got uh, Arrow and Fyra. I think I do want Arrows, but uh, first thing I want to do is level up the Ruby Dragon. You notice that I do have a uh, level uh, up and level down on Kiros, as well as draw. That is the important setup that I want to have this one. Went up by 26. Now he has Fyraga, Reflect, Flare, and what is this one here? Why, it's Meteor! So I will be getting Flare and Meteor from the Ruby Dragon, and I'll be back. Hopefully I, I live. I've got all of the magic that I need. Flares and Meteors are acquired along with pretty much everything else. So uh, let's go ahead and switch back to Kiros, uh, lower his level again. We do not want to keep him at this high level. Should we keep him at this high level, he will give us a shit ton of experience that I do not want right now. So instead, we're going to lower his level significantly. Uh, now, I believe that he still has, yeah, there we go, uh, arrow and fire, and I do want uh, arrow off of him. So I will get a whole shit ton of arrow off of him as well. I don't think I need as many of these, but I do need them. Uh, this is actually his strongest attack, by the way. He is not nearly as powerful as I thought he might be. And yes, like I said, manipulating the hell out of this fight. All right, I scrapped him for everything that I wanted off of him. So let's go back to uh, leveling him down. I don't want to get the experience uh, from the high level, but I'd still want the AP. Plus, we kind of have to kill this guy. So let's get his level down. We will not have access to really anything good anymore. But that is okay, because I really don't care. I got what I came for. Uh, let's just uh, keep leveling him down, actually, as I just kind of go over what this does now that we are actually using it. Of course, the higher level that the enemy has on them, the uh, more useful magic they will have on them, like Flare and Meteor, uh, which is really what I came here for. Uh, Laguna is now full of uh, arrow, but not Kiros. That's fine. I didn't have room for it. It's not really all that vital. Um, yeah, at had his peak. He was only doing about a thousand damage on me. I will right, we'll level him down one more time. Unfortunately, Laguna is equipped with fire elemental on his attack, so uh, things are not necessarily going so well when I attack with him. Uh, and yeah, he's down to level three. Hopefully Kiros can finish him off in one or two goes here. Hopefully just one, Kiros. I'm counting on you. And 600? Not enough, unfortunately. I figured for sure that would do it. I cannot attack with Laguna. I will heal him, and that is not what I want. All right, critical? This guy's got a ton of HP, apparently. Come on, Kiros, finish him off. Are you serious? There he goes. Down goes the Ruby Dragon at level three or four, probably. It does lower him by half. So uh, what happens a lot of times is that you can't, yeah, one experience, two experience, you don't get shit. Uh, what can happen is that you can level him up, have access to the gr good magic, lower him back down, don't get any experience for it. We get an Inferno Fang out of it, not that it's all that great. And we get 14 ability points because ability points does not change based on enemy level. So you can really abuse this if you wanted to. How many are there? They just keep coming. We're out of here. And we leave. That, that was it. So much for Laguna's acting career. Kiros, though, you were awesome. You're really believable as that ruby dragon. What is that? 
Is it another ruby dragon? Because I'm not sure I am ready to handle that. Well, actually, I am. I, I'm full of flares and meteors that I want to equip. Unfortunately, I didn't have a full party of three to fully get myself suited up with the flare and meteor, but two will be fine for the time being. I, I can't disconnect. What is this connect thing? Is it you, Leo? Yeah. Connect is just what I call it. It's when I use my special power. Oh, I know. I must be asleep. That's why I can't control it. I'm sorry, Leo. Just let me use your spirit for a little while longer. Let me go back. She ain't here either. If I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Esthar's soldiers. I've been traveling, trying all I can to get inside Esthar, but... They were looking for a successor to the Esthar sorceress, Adel. Yeah, yeah, exactly it. Is she your daughter? Uh, n no. But she's just so cute, that's not a good thing to say. You're a single guy, I'm gonna say early 30s? Because I honestly don't remember what his real age is. <laughs> And you're looking for a little girl. You're not her dad, but she's oh so cute. It doesn't work. Oh, I wish I could hear her voice. You're not helping. I want to hear Maria's voice. Leo has fallen, indeed, in love with Maria. Is something the matter? No, just the fairies. I hear voices in my head. Don't worry about it. Now, where's this little girl? I don't care if it's in the past or what. I want to hear Maria. I want to see Maria. That way, there might be a chance to save her. She's not dead or anything like that, you know? You can't change the past. I just found that out. Just now? Just right now? When I was kidnapped, Uncle Laguna went on a journey to find me. D did he ever do that? But because he did, Lag Uncle Laguna wasn't able to be by Rain's side when she died. That is indeed unfortunate. Rain wanted to show Laguna her newborn baby. Rain kept calling out for Laguna. So no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. Wait. Laguna and Rain? I guess, but I, I don't know. I didn't really get that vibe from them. I should have, I guess. I have to assume that's Laguna's baby. But it didn't work. I can no longer make it back to that moment. And also, I can only send you inside someone I've met before. Oh, it works like the uh, UMN system in, in Xenosaga then. You can only be go where somebody else has been before. Luckily, you've been everywhere. So has everyone else. I'm sorry, Leo. I'm about to disconnect. I'll try again to speak to you this way. Sis. Alone. I'm... You're what? Scared? I'm going to do it all by myself, sis. Okay, so... Was he passed out there? Like, this entire time and the doctors didn't say anything? I'm just going to move on as if he just showed up here. I want to hear Maria's voice. I can see you if we go back in time. Maybe even change things. You got up really fast there. Alone. Alone, can you hear me? Send me back to the moment when Maria went into a coma. Alone, you won't answer me. I know she's on the White Seed ship. White Seed. Edia's Seed. Edia's Seed? Maybe Edia would know the whereabouts of the ship. She doesn't seem to remember much about what happened. Then I can see alone. And maybe I can go back. We have to go back so we are off yet again uh do i still have the junctions on i do and uh he's somehow hurt based on what just happened there all right let's see uh we have flare and meteor any of them gonna upgrade what i'm already doing you're damn right they are 
Flare and Meteor go on HP and Strength immediately. Of course, that's all going to change once I actually get a party of three together instead of just a party of two. So, because Maria still refuses to talk to us, and I can't say I blame her after all the ignoring of her we have done this entire game, we are just going to go. Where are we going to go? Well, he kind of gave it away already. Uh, no side quests right now, so we just can head over to Idia's place, which should be right outside, actually. We should be there. I have not moved. By the way, garden still works fine. After it was assaulted and we almost lost this giant war with Galbadia, it's all better now. Trabia Garden, still under construction, but Balan Garden, instantly repaired. So, we are off indeed. I don't remember who my party was. I think it, I think it was, was it Quistus? Yeah, we're ready to go. I, I will have to fix it no matter what it is. Uh, still can't have Maria with us, unfortunately. Is it Quistus or Sophie? I know it was Irvine. I want to say it was Quistus. I could always fix it if it doesn't work. Wait. Yeah, they're not going to show me, are they? No, they are not. All right, that is going to be the party. I think it was Quistus. I'm, I'm just not sure, though. And are we where we need to be? That is the question right now. Where am I? I'm very close, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there it is. Yes, I am there. Good. So let's just go inside. So during the battle, we apparently didn't move. All the cutscenes were just in a giant circle. So let's head back into uh, Edia's house. I don't have Encounter None on, so if there are fights here, I will be very surprised and quite upset at myself. I'll have to use Level Down a few times to make sure I don't get any experience. Because that is how this game is played. Don't get the experience. It will only do me in the end. I have some questions for you. Do you have some answers for me? Is there anything at all I can help you with? The White Seed Ship, the one alone's on. Those children are... They are very cautious. They would never remain in one place for long. I see. So you do have memories of what happened when you were... possessed. Let's go with... Oh yes, however... Those children seem to have taken a liking to Sentra's landscape. Therefore, they may have stationed their ship by an inlet somewhere on this central continent. And Leo, please take with you this letter that I wrote. With this, they shall welcome you. So we get a letter. Okay. It's it's a little weird. That's that's all you need to do. Uh, but hey, I got paid. Fantastic. I was just running out of money. Uh, that, yeah, so we'll have to find it. But there are a couple other things that we can do first. Now that we do have well, a little bit of stuff available to us. Well, actually, is that right? Is it now? It might be a little bit later. Either way, I do need to re-equip, I believe. So I will take care of that now that we do have a formal letter of introduction to the White Seed Ship. 